Hello there and welcome to lesson two of Mrs Patmore's maths today. So yesterday we were dealing with doubling, which was adding the same number again. So if you've got three and you double it, you add three more. Three add three is three, four, five, six. So that was doubling. Today's lesson is going to focus on halving, which is new for us, but I will explain it to you nice and clearly. First of all, as we do with any lesson, we have a starter with some counting. Uh, this session we are going to count in ones to 50, okay? But as we count, we're going to do what we do in class normally, where when we say every multiple of five, every number that ends in five, we're going to go higher with our voices. Remember, not loud, just higher. And then every time we say a multiple of ten, which is a number that ends in zero, we're going to go low when we say that number, okay? But we're only counting from one all the way up to 50, like a cup of tea, 50, okay? We're not going to go all the way to 100 today. Okay, so we'll do it together. Hopefully you've got your 100 square in front of you. Otherwise you can have a look at mine here. But yes, touch your finger on your own 100 square as you count and it will help you think about what number is coming next. Okay, so we're going to count from 1 to 50 and we will do it starting now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, nearly there, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Hold on, that was nice and quick. Now yesterday I showed you some numbers and I asked you to say the number on my card and count on to the bigger numbers up the 100 square. But today I'm going to ask you when I show you a number to count backwards from that number, okay? Now I know we don't like counting backwards as much as we do on, but we're going to give it a go. Have your 100 square in front of you to give you a hand. We will do numbers from 1 to 10 first of all. So I will show you the number, say the number on the card, and then count backwards by about three or four numbers, and then I will say the answers to check if you are right. So our first number is... Four, three, two, one, zero. Well done. Our next number I'm going to show you is this one. Eight, seven, six, five. Well done. And let's go with this one. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Fantastic. Let's just try a couple more tricky ones that are 11 to 20. Do your best with this. You may need the 100 square to give you a hand. So I'm going to show you this number first. Sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. And let's just try one more. Let's go with this one. Thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Fantastic. So that's a bit of counting back. That helps us when we come to subtract or take away. Helps us a lot there. So today, as promised, we are looking at halving. Okay. Now, halving is basically like sharing equally into two groups. So whatever number you start off with at the beginning, you have to share them equally between two groups, and half of that number you started off with will be what's on one half of my plates here, let's say. Okay. Now you can use a plate like I have and draw a line exactly down the middle. So you've got half the plate on this side 
and half on this side. So you can actually halve objects as well as numbers, okay? You can use your whiteboard with a line down the middle. You can use just a piece of paper with a line down the middle. But just so that you've got about the same amount of your plate or paper or board on each side so that we can share equally and not run out of room, okay? So when we're halving, let's say we're going to start with four of my coloured teddies. So here they are, my four teddies. Doesn't matter what colour, that has nothing to do with it. We're just looking at the number four here, okay? We are going to halve four, okay? Now when we halve four, we are going to share them equally into two groups, okay? And half of that number will be on what's on one side, okay? Now we can't halve and say, right, okay, you're on that side, three there, and one on this side. And then say half of four must be one. You can't do it like that. You must share equally. And the best way of doing that is to say one for you and one for you. Okay, this is how it will work equally. So I'll take Teddy number one and he can go on this side. Teddy number two, in order to be equal, must go on this side. My next Teddy must go on this side with him. And then Teddy number four must then come on the other side. So I've given one to this side and then one to this side one to this side and one to this side and so on. Now half of four will be what's on one side of the plate, okay? What is on one side of the plate? Two. So I've shared four equally and exactly half, so equally shared by two, half of four is two, okay? Now if I was to write half, it's what's known as a fraction. Okay, which is quite complicated stuff and not so much early years stuff. So don't worry if you don't get what the fraction looks like first of all. But if we write half as a fraction, okay, using numbers, then it looks like this. Okay, so it means we've got the number we started off with and we've shared it in two ways. So this is half as a fraction. So if I wrote what I've just done here, we started with four. So I'd put half of, using one of our common exception words there, Half of four, which is the amount of teddies I started off with, equals, and it will be what's on one side of my plate or my paper or my board, and that we discovered was two. So when I halve four equally in two ways, I end up with on one side two. Okay? So let's try that again with another number. Let's try that with six teddies. So I'm going to bring one, two, three, four on this side, five and six teddies in total. So this time I'm looking for half, this is our fraction half, of six equals. Now I don't know what it equals yet because I've got to share them equally by two parts. So here we go, I'm not going to put a big handful over here and then put what's left on this side. I'm going to say one for you, and one for you on my plate that's divided up the middle. So one there, one there, one there, and one there, and one there, and then this one must go on this. So now I have shared them equally into two groups with my line down the middle. Now the answer to half of six will be what's on one side of the plate. So all I have to do now is count how many teddies are on one side of my plate. One, two, and a little one at the back here, three. So half of six equals three. There we go, okay? I'm gonna do one more with you, and then I'm gonna set you a few to do yourself. Okay, so let's leave my fraction on my board, my half, and then let's change six, and of course my answer, because it will be something different. Right, this time I think we're going to try and halve, hmm, let's go with eight. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's pop him there, and eight teddies in total. So in my half of sentence, Half of eight this time. So half of my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teddies, I now have to share them equally into two groups. Equally meaning the same on both sides. So in order to do that, I'm going to say one over here, one over here, 
one over here, one over here, one on this side, one on this side, one on this side, and one on this side. Now they shared absolutely equally. I could put exactly the same amount on both sides. So I have halved eight teddies. Now the answer to half of eight is what's on one side of the plate. So on one side of the plate I have one, two, three, four. So the answer to half of eight is four. And I can write that on my sentence there. Okay? So I'm going to set you a couple of questions to do uh, when you stop this video. Okay? And you can get your parents to check this or your older siblings. So I'm going to get you to try and find for me. And you can use whatever items you want. Remember, you can use um, straws if you like. You could use crisps from a packet and share those equally but you must remember to count the right number first of all so that you're sharing the right number equally by two groups okay so I'm going to get you to find for me half of 10 okay so one half is the fraction half of 10 equals and I want you to find out the answer I also want you to find the answer of half there's a common exception word of, and I'm going to go even bigger now. I'm going to say let's go half of 12 equals, okay? So you've got half of 10 to find out, to so count out 10 objects and share them equally by two groups, and half of 12 to work out. If you really want to stretch yourself today, I'm going to add another one at the top here. Can you find me half of, hmm, let's say half of 20. Okay, so if you want to really push yourself, find half of 20. Share out those 20 objects equally into two groups and tell me what's on one of those groups. And that will be your answer. Okay, so three for you to do by yourselves. Can you please pop pictures of yourself on our tapestry so I can see how well you're going with halving. Okay, and I will see you again tomorrow for another halving lesson of Mrs. Patnell's Maths. Take care. Bye-bye.